Wow, this is funny. Tucker Carlson. No honest person can deny this about January 6th. Coming from a person who did nothing but lie about the election in January 6th and the organization Fox News that did nothing but lie. Uh, with the lawsuit from Dominion, they've all admitted that they never believed it and hated that some of the crazier ones kept spewing it all the time because they were afraid of their base either leaving or them getting in trouble. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson and happy Monday. We're about to show you surveillance footage from inside the United States Capitol. The images you'll see were recorded 26 months ago today on January 6, 2021. Until now, politicians have kept this tape hidden from the public. There is no legitimate justification for that, and there never has been. Well, more so, uh, a lot of the videos, uh, the, the footage they didn't want release because it was uh, more than anything security uh, issues that they were trying to keep, you know, other people from, like, knowing, you know, stuff about their security and all that. Um, and that's, like, a pretty valid reason to keep some footage um, out of the public eye. On January 6, two years ago, thousands of protesters walked from a Trump rally on the ellipse outside the White House to the U.S. Capitol, where the certification of the presidential election was underway. The protesters were angry. They believed that the election they had just voted in had been unfairly conducted. And why did they believe that uh, the election was a lie? Because you were telling them that. Trump was telling them that. A lot of people of the right-wing talking heads were telling them that. That's something uh, Tucker won't be saying. They were right. In retrospect, it is clear the 2020 election was a grave betrayal of American democracy. Given the facts that have since emerged about that election, no honest person can deny it. Yet the beneficiaries of that election continue to lie about what is now obvious. Wow, wow. Even being sued uh, for defamation and going to lose because Fox is going to lose, um, they're still going to push the election lie. This is pretty wild. But they know that they can't turn around and be like, yeah, we were lying to you guys. The election wasn't stolen. And they're so far deep into their lie, they got to keep going uh, with it with their base, even though they're going to admit that they never believed it in court. The real crime, they will tell you again and again, is not what happened on Election Day 2020. The real crime is what happened two months later on January 6th, when Donald Trump led an insurrection against the duly elected American government. To prove that claim and to divert attention from the details of the presidential election itself, Democrats in Congress impaneled what they called the House Select Committee on the January 6th attack. The point of that committee was to prevent Donald Trump from running for president again. No, the point in that committee was to find out all the people involved in, in, the, in the insurrection who um, urged it on, who were the leader or the leaders and to punish those a part of it. It wasn't to prevent Donald Trump from winning because he didn't win anything. He lost. So there would be no reason to prevent him from winning when he lost. But, you know, Fox News, they got to keep up the lie that Trump won uh, so that they can justify themselves uh, lying to people. In December of last year, committee members voted unanimously to refer Trump to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution, mission accomplished. But what the committee did not do was explain what happened inside the Capitol on January 6th. Three weeks ago, thanks to the new Republican Speaker's Office, we gained access to thousands of hours of surveillance video that helped answer that question. The January 6th committee had access to this very same tape and watched much of it. But as we're about to show you, committee members lied about what they saw and then hid the evidence from the public as well as from January 6th criminal defendants and their lawyers. 
That is unforgivable. Whatever you think of Speaker Kevin McCarthy, he rectified that crime, and we are grateful that he did. Um, if you actually wanted to rectify the crime, he would be advocating for the punishment of uh, people like you, uh, Donald Trump, and the other insurrectionists, not giving people like you uh, the uh, video footage so that you can twist and lie. Um. Before we show you the tape, a few words on the process. Our producers had unfettered access to the Capitol surveillance video. Neither the Speaker's office nor our bosses at Fox News interfered in any way with our investigation. Of the 40,000 or so hours of tape, most of it turned out to be irrelevant. Static shots of empty rooms, in some cases far from the Capitol itself. To find relevant videotape, our producers were given use of Capitol computers with advanced mapping software. That made it easy to find what we were looking for. What we didn't have was access to facial recognition software, and that was significant. For more than two years, we have wondered why some in the crowd that day who seemed to be inciting violence were never indicted for it. We assumed these were federal agents of some sort. We still assume that. Wow. So Tucker Carlson is saying that the U.S. government sent in federal agents to act as agent provocateurs in uh, cause a riot? No. That didn't happen. It was all Trump supporters. Man, the 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 length he's going to try to make it seem like uh, the Trump rioters had no hand in it whatsoever, even though they all planned it beforehand to go there and try to take over the government. But yeah, let's blame agent. Let's blame you know federal agents. And in fact, there were many examples of behavior we saw in those tapes that didn't seem to make sense. Men in civilian clothes holding doors open for protesters, escorting others through the Capitol, etc. We would love to know who these people were. But as of tonight, we don't know. And because we don't know, we're not going to put their faces on the screen and suggest they were federal agents. That would be irresponsible. So there were many mysteries we could not solve. Among them, unfortunately, is the shooting of Ashley Babbitt. From the evidence we have, the publicly available evidence, it seems clear that Babbitt was murdered by a Capitol Hill police officer called Michael Byrd. Well, no. She was trying to break in, uh, and he shot her because she was breaking in along with others. It, it's surprising. Well, it's not really surprising why they were uh, so lenient to use force because... They were told by the government not to use force on these people. But, you know, uh, in, in, in other cases, uh, cops like these would probably just be unloading on all these people for breaking in. You know, as you know, right-wingers say, if you obey the cops, you won't die. Ashley Babbitt was unarmed. She was shorter in stature than average. She posed no conceivable threat to anyone. But beyond that, we can only speculate about what happened. There were no security cameras near the speaker's lobby where Ashley Babbitt was killed. And one more thing. Virtually no one in Washington, Republican or Democrat, certainly not in the news media, wanted to see this tape released tonight. That's why it's remained hidden for more than two years. In recent weeks, the usual hyenas in Congress and on cable news have been howling about we are putting lives at risk by showing this tape to the public. Given that these are the very same people who support open borders and defunding the police, it is hard to take their complaints seriously. But we do. T well, that has nothing to do with um, January 6th and anything like that. It's wild how he jumps to, oh, these people don't want certain parts of a footage to be shown uh, for security reasons. But they want open borders. All oh, those two things have nothing to do with each other. Take security seriously. So before airing any of this video, we checked first with the Capitol Police. We're happy to say their reservations were minor, and for the most part, they were reasonable. In the end, the only change that we made was in blurring the details of a single interior door in the Capitol building. You're unlikely even to notice it when we show you, and we are confident it does not affect our reporting. With that, here's the video. It doesn't answer every question from January 6th, far from it. But it does prove beyond doubt that Democrats in Congress, assisted by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, lied about what happened that day. They are liars. 
That is conclusive. And that fact should prevent them from ever being taken seriously again. Wow. Wow. Okay. So lying sh means uh, people shouldn't take you seriously, which means no one should take Fox seriously because all they do is lie. All you do, Tucker, is lie. And it's been proven because you admitted to lying about uh, the election being stolen because you're being sued by Dominion for defamation. What? Fox News is being sued for like $3.8 billion. Uh, that's not just by uh, Dominion, but that's also by Smartmatic, another uh, um, voting uh, company that they defamed and claimed were uh, doing some election rigging. This is hilarious how, how much that they're still lying. And they know that their base will believe it, so they don't care that they're just going to keep lying, because it's what their base wants to hear. We're going to begin tonight with footage that shows you what was actually happening inside the Capitol. The footage does not show an insurrection or a riot in progress. Instead, it shows police escorting protesters through the building, including the now infamous QAnon shaman. Subscribe.